the Ghanaian government don't they shame. These people shame don't enter there. I'm telling you guys. <laughs> see, as I, see as I think I they look Ghana government now. They are just so ashamed. Yeah. Because it was obvious that Nigeria was supposed to be the place that they will go and play their football game. Ghana was supposed to play their home games in Nigeria. You understand? Ah, Ghanaians supposed they thankful to Nigeria. Ghanaians, you people, I don't understand how Ghanaians reason. This is another reason why Ghanaians need to go down on their knees and say, God, thank you for making Nigeria exist. Thank you for making Nigeria exist. If not, this is our country for just stay useless. This is a perfect example of Nigeria making Ghana better. You see, Nigeria is the only reason why the Ghanaian government is trying to do anything good in Ghana. If not, watch this video and explain to me how this happened. So, just two or three months ago, no, no, two months ago, the FIFA and CAF of Africa, that is Confederation of African Football, they came out and said no football stadium in Ghana is qualified to play any Afghan game. As in, as Ghana big rich, they don't have any field, any football stadium. With all their glory claiming we have four African Nation Cup, we have this, we have that, we are the greatest football. They don't have a football field to play international football. That is how they came out and embarrassed them. You understand? Ghanaians were embarrassed by that. The government was exposed. Corruption was exposed. FIFA even exposed them of corruption because FIFA was giving them money to fix the pitch. Now, what happened is, FIFA now said Ghana will have to play their home game in another country against the other country. Now, Nigeria now. So, Nigeria was standing at the door. They, Come and play your international game in Nigeria. But guess what? Because of shame, because Ghanaian government don't want to feel like it has let down its citizen. Like just imagine what just imagine what a Ghanaian will feel like. Like they say Ghana is playing their home game, you know, they are packing their bags to go and play the home game in Nigeria. Ah, just just think about it. And then when this when this news came out, it spread everywhere. YouTubers, everybody was Ghanaian saw it as it will be the biggest disgrace in their history for them to leave their country and go and play their game in Nigeria. So they got so ashamed that ah, we Ghana, you know, pride. Ghana will not say no, they are better than Nigeria in everything. Ghanaians that believe that ah, even if it's what, if, if, if it's that we should have to play this game out of Ghana. No, 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 no. It is better we go and play the game in Burundi than to play it in Nigeria, even though Nigeria is the better offer. Than for us to go and play in Nigeria for free, we should better go and pay billions and play in Uganda or anywhere else. But guess what? They got so ashamed of receiving help from Nigeria. Got so ashamed that Nigeria will help them, you know. And out of a sudden, out of a sudden Ghana, Please, Ghanaians, thank Nigeria. You should be thankful to Nigeria because this is how Nigeria helps you to be successful. This is how Nigeria saves your... This is how Nigeria makes Ghana to develop. This is how Nigeria is pushing Ghana back, you know, indirectly. Because, because of the shame of going to play that football in Nigeria, Ghanaian government took money from nowhere. Ghana government that is broke, they don't have money. They are owing everybody, including their national bank, to the point where they started borrowing money from cocoa farmers in Ghana. That broke Ghana government from nowhere. I don't know where they collected money. I don't know how they did it. In less than three weeks, Ghana caught arranged stadium, package everywhere, their stadium, just everything just come normal. And then they now came and inspected the stadium again just to discover that. Ghanaians from nowhere have it's like I'm sure Ghanaians contributed. They have not told us this one. I'm sure Ghanaians came out and said, No, we have to save ourselves from this disgrace and this embarrassment. Let us contribute money from our pocket. 
citizens surely contributed money from their pockets to go and fix the stadium in the in the in the in the quickest moment that's possible just because they don't want to go and play in nigeria just because they don't want to be disgraced tell me how is i'm happy for ghana at least when i saw the news that Ghana will no longer play their home game in Nigeria because they have fixed their stadium. CAF has now approved. I say, ah, so these people could. So this government, they want citizens. So your government and your leader really had the possibility of fixing this stadium, of making sure that Ghana is looking good. Yet, they were sitting quietly, enjoying and flexing the money until it comes to the point where they, they knew that Going to play in Nigeria will be a disgrace before they rush to fix the stadium. Before they rush to fix everything. As a normal Ghanaian human being, shouldn't you be thankful to Nigeria? You see, this is exactly what Ghanaians should do. They should always tell their government, and eh, since you don't want to give us electricity, we are going to Nigeria. They will run and go and fix your electricity because they don't want to be embarrassed in Nigeria and their greatest problem. They don't want to give anybody the impression that Nigeria is better than Ghana. So, Every time you use Nigeria, your government or your people will run and go and fix things. So if there's no road, tell them that, ah, Nigeria has better road than Ghana. Nigeria has, they will run and fix the road. That is how Ghana is. You, Ghana is, if you get sense, you understand the game. Play along the game to get what you want. So you should not be telling your government, ah, this government, look at Nigeria. They have better hospital than us. Your government go wrong, go fix your hospital. Smart. Just this smart Ghanaians. So I'm very, very happy that at last there have been, I mean, the, the embarrassment we, for the moment, because the small money where they tell you is fix that stadium. After this match now they are going to play, they will still abandon it. They will still abandon it. That is the short truth. But I don't see why Ghanaians are ashamed to, to receive help from Nigeria. I don't see why they are ashamed to be helped by Nigeria. It doesn't, Nigeria is a free country. They were not going to help you and make noise about it. Nigeria was going to help you and stay quiet. <laughs> Nigeria was going to help you guys and just say, you know. But Ghanaians felt like, you know, we cannot take this help from Nigeria, you know. But I'm happy though. It is what it is, guys. Come back anytime you're free because there's always more beautiful and amazing videos just for y'all. God bless y'all. Cheers.